Today we're doing a brand new tiny home challenge and I'm pretty excited for this because you guys can do it as well. A little while ago over my website, I made a random build generator and I made it so that I could create additional challenges and we can easily add on to it. So the original challenge we've still got just there, but I've also added a tiny home challenge and there's also a Cass family challenge, which was the same one my YouTube members did, but this one is for everyone. So you can just have fun with that and do whatever you want. But today, tiny home. So you get five things that you must do. And as long as you meet all those, you complete the challenge. So you basically get how many tiles the tiny home is going to be, what world it's going to be styled after. Now, don't worry if you don't have that pack that the world came with. It's just to give you an idea of a style and, you know, how to theme your overall build. You don't need the pack. And then you'll say, it will say how many Sims need to live in this tiny home and you get a budget and then you must include some random item or two items from the base game somewhere in the build. So I'm gonna hit generate three times and that's what we're gonna get. So we're gonna go one, two, three. Okay, this is actually pretty good to be fair. Uh, so our tiny home must be no more than 92 tiles, which is pretty big. And we style it like it's in Strangerville, so that's kind of fun. And we need an elder, a young adult and a dog. So we need three Sims but we have quite a lot of space and we have a pretty good budget of 56,000. But we must also include this light and that fridge, which that fridge is pretty expensive, but I think that should be okay. So let's get started. All right, we don't have to build in Strangerville, but I may as well, you know, for the sake of it. Uh, and we're doing a tiny home, so I guess probably we could just go in the trailer park or maybe out over here. I guess we're going here because this one's a 20 by 15, so that's probably a good spot for it. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm not going to go there. I'm actually going to move to one of these just because I feel like if I go there, then I'm going to be almost forced to build like a trailer, which obviously that's fine. But I've already done like two different tiny home trailers, uh, you know, on the channel. So let's do something different. Maybe let's go just go over here. Let's go to this place. That'll do. OK, yeah, this is good. So this will give it. I mean, it's kind of looking like we're doing a, sort of a shotgun style home, which actually should be fine. Like, I honestly think we could probably build one of these houses and it would fit within our 92 tiles quite easily. So, yeah, if I build over there, then I would end up building like another trailer home, which we like I said, we've already done two other tiny trailer homes on the channel. So let's do something different. All right, let me switch over to Tiny home. Now, if you don't have the tiny living stuff pack, that's fine. You can still do this, but the tiny living stuff pack basically just makes it a lot easier because it will automatically count how many tiles you've used. As you can see here, it just goes up. So it just makes it easier to track everything, basically. All right, let me have a look. So we got, let me pull out my checklist. 92 tiles. So let's uh, work with that. And to be honest, yeah, I guess I'm just going to do like a uh, shotgun style home. That'll work, I think. I kind of like the look of that one, to be honest. So first of all, let's just do the walls. So 91 tiles is that. I don't even know if we need this much room, which is good because we're going to need like a balcony as well. I think I'm going to go a little thinner. Gives us plenty of room for a front balcony. Obviously, that's too much. We're going to go a little smaller, maybe there. That gives us 90 tiles. But I think, do they have a, they, oh, yeah, they don't really have a oh sorry my checklist is in the way i'm just like looking at the house next door their stairs go straight up like that but you can't actually do that so that's cheating um but i do want a back balcony so let me uh i think we'll just we'll just make it smaller it doesn't need to be this big i i really don't think we actually need that much room in this place to be honest i might just do a small one like that 87 tiles all right we got we got space to play with we got extra space you know but let's go up do some bricks you know that's good very nice looking good we're basically done, guys. Now, Strangerville did add some very nice up. Now, oh, actually, what I should probably do, which I haven't done, is set my money uh, to my budget because that'll be a lot easier to keep track of. Um, okay, one sec. All right, so our budget is uh, 56825, as you can see there. And I've just set my in-game money to that amount. Now, I'm not counting the lot value uh, in our budget. That's I'm just not worrying about that. I mean, you, you can count that yourself if you want to, but I just find it easier just to use a specific value here. Um, I'm wondering, do I want to go for taller walls? Because all these guys have pretty tall walls, which I think is quite appropriate for this kind of home. So I think we'll do that. I'm going to go to the medium walls. OK. OK, I think that's what I want to do for the roof. Oh, it's a little weird there with this bit, isn't it? Um, hmm. What if I go further back? Does that help? Kind of. Looks a little weird, though, doesn't it? You know what? I think it's going to be easier if I just have a full balcony at the back because <laughs> it'll make the roof a lot easier. Yeah, I'll just do that and then I'll bring that back out again. OK, that's good. There you go. House done, yeah. No, let's get some stairs and, and all that kind of stuff going. We have 54,000 left, so pretty good. Now I'm a little, I'm wondering, do I just do this to make the columns more even? But then I feel like we have so many columns, like that's way too much. Maybe we just leave it like that. All right, then the fence, do we go this fence or do we go this fence or this fence? Probably this one for our balcony anyway. And then we'll match it on the stairs. 
Oh, look at this place. Isn't that cute? I'm using these stairs because they were the cheapest, by the way, so... <laughs> in case you're wondering. Right, we'll do the same at the back. And then, of course, we can't forget. We must not forget spandrels. Um, hmm. I actually kind of wanted a bigger spandrel than that. Does this come in? No, it doesn't come in the same green. What about this? Oh, that kind of works. It's slightly different, but... I like this one better for this house. Oh yeah, look at this place. Oh yeah, look at all these doors. We got a lot of door options, so we're good. It, oh, that looks beautiful. Either that one or... Actually, you know what's annoying? Is I kind of want the door handle on the other side, so... <laughs> but you can't, because otherwise it's the wrong side of the door. So maybe I need to change the entrance to the right-hand side. Hmm, I might need to do that. Which is fine, it's easy. There we go. Problem solved. Okay, before I do any windows or anything like that, I think I'm actually going to figure out the layout, because that's going to kind of dictate some of the stuff. Now, the front, I probably will either do it... Either want a bedroom here or, like, living space, because that's where we're going to have a nice window. I think it could potentially be a bedroom. So we want... Who are we fitting in here again? We've got an elder, a young adult, and a dog. All right. Oh, gosh. Okay. You know what? Actually, this is where we start. Okay. I think this has to be a living space because otherwise, if we leave that as a hallway, that is so much space that is just wasted. So I think I'm going to need to just make that like a living space. And then we're going to need to have potentially just a thinner hallway so we can fit in maybe like a bathroom in the middle of the house. And then this can be a bedroom on the side. And then I need, oh gosh. And then I need, <laughs> hmm. Oh, uh, you know what? We could actually maybe make that bigger. Because if I can fit the whole living space in there. Let's shift this way a little bit. Hang on. This might, this might work. Could even do this. Have like a, maybe a diagonal door into the bathroom. I don't know. It's kind of cool. But it's like a weird like thin hallway kind of like that. You know what? Actually, I think this might make more sense if we actually flipped the layout the other way. So then this would be the front door. Because I think that's kind of, that's kind of cool. Because then that'd be the front bedroom. And then living and dining and stuff at the back. Yeah. Because then that's still, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense, I think. Okay, so then, because we'll still end up with the hallway no matter what, because we need access to the room. So now it's facing this way. I kind of like it. So this bedroom, obviously, I think we'll access from, you know, the, the living space. We'll do a door over here somewhere. And the bathroom will be here from the hallway. That's my plan, okay? Let's let's try let's try that. <laughs> Any Strangerville? Oh no no nothing good. All right never mind. There you go. Just do like a white siding. I mean it's kind of bo is that kind of oh it looks like exactly like that house. Well to be fair mine looks better. I'm gonna be real. <laughs> but it fit. Uh, hey part of the challenge is that it has to fit in. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so you know it is what it is. All right, these windows are pretty cheap, which is great news for us. A bigger window. Oh there are bigger windows. Ooh. These are also very cheap, 30 bucks. Cause this looks ridiculous though. I'm sorry, those windows look so bad on that house. Like they're so low. It's very strange. Um, I like that. We can still use these, but they definitely, cause I, I think they've placed them like, <laughs> I don't know, like this height on this wall. They need to be like here. They have to be higher. What, what does two look like? Or is two too much? Like, is, is this too much? Maybe there's too much green now, you know what I mean? Maybe we, oh, oh, here we go. Yeah, the white with the green. Maybe that works better. Maybe the door, wait, what? A, oh, that door, you know, maybe that's better instead of full green. Or green and yellow. Oh, nah, that looks terrible. Um, <laughs> I think that, I think that's okay. I don't think that's too many windows because then it does make this bedroom very nice, to be fair. I like that. All right, then around the side of the house, I think just those two, to be honest, on that side, we don't need to do much. We could potentially, oh, I've got one tile available. Could do a chimney just on, because I don't know, there's a blank wall here. I don't think I'll actually put one inside, but maybe we could use this to have a decorative chimney. You know what I mean? Actually looks terrible, especially like what is going on with this chimney, by the way? Why is the bottom bricks, why are they stretched? Like, <laughs> why is it like that? If I'm going to do a chimney, I think it's going to look better if I just actually put it on the roof instead of having it stick out. Which is good, that saves me the tile. All right, well, I think what we could do then... Oh, they actually did the exact same thing. I didn't, to be honest, I, I didn't even know they did that, but I was like, oh, okay, chimney. That's exactly what I'm trying to do right now. Oh, there's like a Strangerville chimney. That actually makes sense. Maybe, maybe I might scale it down though. I feel like it's too big. And then, what if I did that? Does that look, that kind of looks weird. You know what, I'm just gonna leave it. I, sometimes I, I get too focused on details that don't really matter right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave that. All right, the hallway, I think I definitely want some windows in as well. Otherwise it's gonna be a little dark, so that's good. And then this is the main living space. So out the back, I definitely want a door, but I don't think I want a door that's going to be so big that it's going to take up all that space. So, okay, that's well, that's not what I want. This this is definitely our interior door, though, for sure. I don't know if I want it to be green, though. I might just go to the um, just the white to be fine. And then that'll go here somewhere. We might need to move that, but we'll see. And I think this I probably just want to be open. Oh, 
Um, hmm. Could just remove the wall. Or we could do like a spandrel maybe just at the top. Is there any point in doing that? <laughs> I think it needs to be like a door or an archway because otherwise it's too tall, you know? Really wish we had just had the arch of this door. That'd be sweet. Because I just have to use like a square, which doesn't look as good, but oh well, whatever. Okay, back door to the house. I guess I don't have to worry about it being cheap. We've got we've got quite a lot of budget to be fair. So might use that. let's just start with that. Oh, that looks really short though, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't want to use these doors because they're so... These ones are actually too tall. Well, no, they're not actually. I think the, the main problem is they got a letterbox in it or a mail slot, sorry. Could use this one. Does that, it doesn't really have the right color though. Oh, there is this one. Maybe this door works. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of move objects because it's not quite placing exactly in the right spot, but could use that. And then maybe do the same thing with the windows where we have two of them over here. It's nice. Okay, no other windows on this side of the house, but we'll see how we go. I think that's good. We got this. All right, so I'm gonna, let's get some lights in here. Actually, I need that specific light, don't I? There was it the angling. It's the angling for light candle sconce, uh, which I think was this one. Yeah. So I need this light. If I just make it white, I guess that works. Maybe this can be the hallway. But they're good hallway lights because when you put the walls down, you'll never see them again. But it still gives light, so that's nice. All right, so we've done that, and then I need the. Uh, Crisponics Ultra Great with Deluxe Crisper, which is this fridge here. Okay, that's fine. We can do that as well. So I'm thinking kitchen like here, I guess, and then living space assorted in there. <laughs> anyway, I can check off those items. We've done those for sure. Now, before I forget, let me just hide that. Let me, um, let's get stuff for the dog because we, we, it says we have to have a dog or have to have space for a dog. This might need to go outside. I don't know if I'm gonna have room inside for this. The, the pet bowl. I'm gonna put it out here on the balcony. Bit of a weird spot, but that's where it is. Um, a pet bed would be very nice too. It doesn't say what size dog, so we could get a small one and then like have a, a double bed in here still. I think that would work. And then dogs, I guess they like toys as well, right? So I guess maybe a toy chest would be good, which I mean, could go in the hallway. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's figure out the rest of this stuff. We gotta figure out the, how everything's gonna fit in. Let's get some, I'm just gonna get these little ceiling lights in everywhere. Okie dokie. Seeing as we've got like a nice fridge, we can try, maybe try and do like a, a slightly more expensive interior. Uh, I mean, I, I think we can do it because our budget is pretty high. So I think we should actually be okay. Now this got, was this the one that got more colors? Yeah, there's a few more colors. They're all green though. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I don't really want more green, as nice as that is. Um, okay, well, that's just plain blue. No, the blue is not bad, maybe for a bedroom, though. Might do that in there. I guess that, oh, I guess you, actually, yeah, the blue works in here because we don't have the green frames in here. So that actually is quite good. Maybe we can do some paneling, not like full paneling, but I do like the blue. I'm, I'm into the blues now, so I'm wondering if I should it's just, I like the green on the outside, but when you get the green frame on the inside, it's a little tougher to work with. All right, let's just go with this. You know, we got pretty plain uh, in the living room, but I think we can probably, we got the greens and all that stuff already come through the window. So we, we, we got we got stuff going on. All right, I think this room is getting somewhat, I think I have to just rotate, it's really gonna work on that angle. Um, I think this will be good. I feel like I've got like infinite money. This is great. I feel like this is a Strangerville kind of thing to have. I know it's not, but I don't know. Having just a diagram up there. Seems cool. Should we get a clock? What about a clock? Mm -hmm. There you go. $300, that's, that's a good use of money. Yeah, and that little plant. Okay, so that's looking good. Can I actually fit a dresser in this room though? Cause like, that'd be nice. Oh, actually the horse ranch one's kind of cool. I mean, I guess I, I could just replace, um, I'm just trying to move that out of the way. The side table with the dresser. Like we don't need, we don't really need two side tables. We don't really need one side table. <laughs> they don't really do anything. I actually, re I really like this dresser. It's It, just, it always just reminds me of Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> with the bog art. Color doesn't quite match up. Oh, I can put this on top. <laughs> Although that'd be super inconvenient. I'm gonna put this, hang on. Can I move this and then put this behind it? Yeah, there you go. Right, I'm gonna get rid of that. We do have a big blank wall. Like that is nothing, you know? Do we even, do we bother putting something there? You know what? This place could probably use as fans. I feel like this would definitely have fans here. Oh, you know what? Fireplace. I was now, okay. This is The Sims and it could lead to a fire. But it'd be very cute having a little fireplace in the bedroom. Can I, will this take up too much space if I do it diagonally? Because this is how, at least, I mean, in a house similar to this style in Australia, you would find like a little um, corner fireplace. I guess, you know what, I could probably scoot everything over a little bit. I move the bed over. That's gonna need to not intersect with the curtain. We'll just use a little move object. I'm sure it'll be fine. We'll, we'll test, we'll test. Um, and then I guess it leaves a bit of room though. We could actually put stuff there. Anyway, so if I make that a little fireplace area, I get rid of that. I don't know if I want this one with a teapot on it. I don't know that that makes a total amount of sense, but 
What about... Oh, that's huge. Problem is, I guess all the other ones are huge, so it kind of needs to be one of those. Yeah, they... Okay, we need smaller fireplaces. <laughs> so I'll either have to use this one or... No, no. Okay, it's got to be the one with the little teapot, because that's just, like, just small. I like that. I mean, that's kind of cute. Whoops. No, no. I meant to paint the inside of that. Okay. I don't... We'll have to test that, but I think that's nice. I guess I'll just move this in. You know what this wall could use? is like a picture rail. What about, like, this wall? Color is not quite the same as the rest of the room. Maybe it should just be all of those, actually. I think that fits the style better. And then I could put like pictures in the middle. Not quite a picture rail, but you know, same idea. It's not the same idea. <laughs> just adds a bit more interest to the wall, you know? We'll get... Oh my god, these are 640? I didn't realize these pictures are so expensive. I was gonna say, I'm gonna get a couple of these. Roughly in the middle. I don't know if I'm gonna do... We might need to remove some, but you know, we got a lot of budget, so we'll have fun. And we'll do the second one as you. There you go. Beautiful. Although this one's square, which looks... We get like a... Yeah, another little circle one. Not a little, an oval one. Yeah, it looks a bit better. Okay, that's cool. I guess to be honest... Oh. Uh, hmm. Yeah, this now exposes the fact that the bed is not nicely lined up. Maybe this wall should be different here. What about just white? We can just do white because it has the same skirting, but... I like how that's the wall you're going to see the most and that's the, like, the least interesting one. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's a good room. Nice. Um, all right, I got to figure out where these are going, but we'll put that... And also, it's a room for an elder because we need an elder, a young adult, and a dog. I guess this is the young adult's room, which... Unfortunately, probably won't have a double bed. I mean, we could do a double bed, but they won't have room for anything else. So I think we have to do a single bed, which could be... <laughs> that surprisingly nearly like really matches that with the blue and the green. I kind of want to use this just because it's like so close to matching. <laughs> Does look a little childish though, doesn't it? <laughs> if, if we're trying to go for a young adult, maybe it should be a little bit more grown up looking. Not that bad. This bed kind of definitely an older style bed, but I think it maybe suits the house better. That's probably all right. I do have weird blue and green though. <laughs> Those window frames, man. Anyway, that's good. Uh, and then I guess, well, if it's a young adult, maybe they'll want their own space. So we'll give them a desk, which I guess, you know what? It might actually work better if we do that this way and have the desk over here just so that the this isn't in the way like blocking the view you know i want so much money i'm just gonna get an expensive more expensive computer there you go all right so we got a little computer in there got that bed uh can i i don't know oh i could probably fit a dresser there actually i was gonna say i don't know if i can fit one but i think i can just a smaller size one like just this that would definitely fit and can we fit a tv in here have a full like pad all to yourself look at this yeah Alrighty, that's a room! I would like a mirror, probably, over that little thing, but I don't like how they always show up on the wall, is the only thing. I might just forget a mirror in here. You know what, I think if we're just doing white, this wall might actually be quite good, at least for part of the room. Maybe there. I don't, I don't think behind the kitchen that makes sense, but I don't know, it's a little bit more interesting having that wall texture. I like that, I actually like that room. I think it's quite nice. Like, it's small, but... You know, cozy. We can get some of these book nook pictures. There you go. Might just do one above this as well. Just so there's something over here if you put the walls up. There you go. Cool. All right. Before we move on to the living area, let's see if we can do this bathroom. Because I actually don't know if this diagonal wall is going to leave us enough space in here. Because it is pretty small. All right. Well, we got a bunch of money. So let's get expensive toilet. $1,800 toilet. <laughs> so I think we're either going to have to do just like an open shower like this. Or... Oh, wait. we got a dog. So we're definitely going to want a shower tub combo, right? Which is kind of annoying because it's... It's huge. This is what I dislike most about these is just it takes up so much visual space. Like it's just a big block in the middle of the house. So like if I'm over here playing and I want to see what's going on over here, I have to like rotate around it. I just personally find that annoying. Um, now the other problem I'm seeing is we need access to this side of the tub. So I can't put something here because you need access to the side that has like, the taps in the shower. That's how they access it. But you can put stuff here, which is a problem because that's kind of where the door is. Uh, so I'd have to either put it this way, but I don't think that's going to work with the door right there. So I mean, I guess I can test it. Why don't we just test it? I I've got a sim here. Let me just hit save. Oh, you know what? We can. All right. Oh, well, that that's great. Though that still doesn't help that much because... Hmm. Because I can only put one thing here. I can't fit two things here. I, I guess I could probably squish the toilet here and fit a sink there, maybe. It's not a great layout. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Hang on, go here. Well, actually, hang on. Or I could do this. Okay, shush, game. Put that there. And then I could have something here and something here. And that would work too, right? So if I had like the toilet there, and then I like this sink. It also, I feel like it you know, matches that and I feel like it goes to the house. So in theory, that should work, but I don't really like the, this just having, it's just on the, it looks weird, doesn't it? Having the shower just come out of nowhere. What about this? It doesn't look great, but let's see, wash hands. 
All right, that's good. Use the toilet. Look, you don't have a, oh, I was not sitting down, but if you were, you don't have a lot of leg room, but it looks like it works. So I guess maybe we just go with this. Take a bath. Good. All right, well, that works. Okay, let's just do that. Let's keep it simple. Pretty nice bathroom too. If I do say so myself. I'm gonna do the matching mirror. I'm doing the matching mirror, the matching wall. Uh, I am doing a different flooring though. I like that flooring from high school years. All right, that'll do. I mean, you can, oh, that door. <laughs> that door, I think just like gets past that. That doesn't make any sense. Well, this door would only open to here because of that frame. So how would you get in this room? It's Sims, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Alrighty, do a little, you know, little details. Okay, this has to go really far forward or I guess I can put it here, can't I? Some hand soap. We'll get a little towel rack maybe somewhere. Nope. Okay, let's use move objects and now we can. Although I should probably test to make sure we can still move around. Cool. Okay, so I got 30,000 left. There's actually, <laughs> there's actually so much money. Should we just use like this? <laughs> use the most expensive stuff. Well, I actually really like the growing together kitchen. I think it's really nice. I'm actually a bit sad I can't use the fridge that matches it because I really like this fridge, like for this house. Like I think that's kind of cool, but that works too. Uh, all right, so counters, let's go expensive. What, we don't need to save money. Uh, uh, that window is a little strange there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn off auto counters and I'm gonna get just an end piece because then this will stop before the window like that. And that should still fit. Oh, this doesn't have a back, but these do. That is not great, is it? Uh, those, okay, which ones don't have a back? That doesn't have a back. We could use the cool kitchen ones or, oh, they're parenthood ones actually. These, these might work. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that color kind of goes with our floors. Let's do this one. Okay. Ooh, we could do a green stove. Kind of fun. Hey, my window. I don't think it really goes though, to be honest. I might just do white. Or we can leave it the default sort of cream and gold. Gotta be honest, this fridge is kind of ugly with this kitchen. It doesn't work as well. So, okay, I might, these win, I don't think these windows really work the best there. I think it might be better. All right, this is just what I'm gonna do for the kitchen. I could not figure out a better solution with those windows because they're up quite high but I can't really lower them because otherwise it looks really goofy. Um, and getting rid of them, then this whole wall over the side looks a bit weird. Anyway, so I just did this. Um, I used this same wallpaper we had in the bathroom, but in a different color. Uh, I really like, I really wish we had had these tiles like as a full wall, kind of like these ones, but you, I don't, I didn't want to use these because they have really defined like, I guess, grouting in between it. Like I really like how subtle those are. If that was like a whole wall of just like really smooth, sheeny tiles, that'd be good. But anyway, I use that one. I think that works well. Uh, I like the rich colors of it. It's all good. So now we're gonna figure out how the rest of the stuff fits in this living room because there's not much space. I'm thinking we do either this like full unit or like this wall unit for the TV. That one's kind of small, maybe this one's better. And that sort of goes, I guess kind of over, well, let's put it in the middle. I don't know if it's gonna stay in the middle because I don't know if that makes the most sense. Also, I guess when you're like coming down the hall, you just, oh, it doesn't actually look that bad. But anyway, um, and then I guess it's gonna have to be like a two seater, maybe. Maybe we can do one of these, a little modular in that one. That's all right, we use this. All right, let's put that there for now. Uh, I'll just put that there so I had a sort of a baseline of where everything's gonna fit because I we need like a dining table too ideally would be nice. Should we get the really expensive one the $1,300 dining table? <laughs> Why is that so expensive? I mean I've got 20 grand left I should just spend it right? Where are the, Where's those matching chairs that are really expensive? These ones. 550 for these. There you go. That actually look really nice by the window. Yeah, that's cute. Do I actually want to use this table though? It's kind of, doesn't really great, is it? So we could do that. These chairs also don't really work. I guess I could do the white and the gold maybe, but I don't know. It's not great, but uh, we'll do it for now. And by, by me saying we'll do it for now, I mean, that's it. We're not changing it. <laughs> that's usually how those things go. Uh, well, hang on. Then I've got all this space here. So I'm not really sure what that is. I guess this can move back further. And then we might as well, we can probably fit in a coffee table might be nice. Cause I was originally gonna do like a table here, but it, it looks really nice by the window. So I think I'll keep it there. And then, uh, yeah, then we can fit a coffee table, which we'll do. I feel like this living room has kind of gone off the rails a little bit. Like it doesn't, I don't know if it <laughs> really fits in with the rest of this place. Like this is definitely much more in keeping with the style. And then this is like, I don't know where we're going. I think I need to change the coffee table. I think the coffee table is really the one pushing it over the edge. I think we just need to do like a, yeah, something more ornate like this or like this sort of to bring it back. Like, I think it's okay to have some newer pieces, but then I think we also do need to keep in touching with what we're, what we're actually furnishing here. Maybe that needs a change too. Maybe we do a different setup. Cottage living one's nice, I think. The only thing I don't really like about this setup is then it's much more visible from the front. Like when you <laughs> look down the hall, whoops, look down the hallway, this is the TV like right there in the way. Like it, it just doesn't look good, you know? But what does that matter? You know, does that matter? No, it doesn't. Well, who cares? <laughs> All right, let's get some bookcases or books somewhere. 
This wall is a prime candidate. I guess like the book nook one maybe. Just do a couple of those there. Cause then yeah, then it's like lower, it doesn't block anything. And then we could do like a nice big picture above it. And we got a bunch of money, so let's get something expensive. There you go. <laughs> a lot of different wood tones going on in here, but you know, that's kind of the way it is in houses. You know, you never get, if you're buying all this stuff separate, it's never gonna match, you know what I mean? But does that even really matter? Where are those uh, little wall lights? I, mean, I think actually these could be good in here. Like here, for example, maybe, well, maybe just that. <laughs> I kind of want a lamp, but I don't think I have any room in this place now. I mean, I guess we could go here. Uh, it doesn't really work though. Maybe this one, it's just, it's so weird. <laughs> I don't have any corners I can use because they all have doors in them or a kitchen, so maybe that's it. Maybe that's all we do. We could get a larger mirror maybe on the wall. <laughs> Not that. <laughs> like this one. That could be nice. Is that a bit random? I think we just need to put a cap on it, you know what I mean? <laughs> all right, I've got $14,000 left. I think that's good. I think the interior is good. I'm obviously got this random thing here. I think what I'm going to do is I'll keep this in here, but I want to get a side table for the entrance. How expensive can we go? This is what I'm talking about. Uh, not that expensive. They, oh, this one's kind of expensive. So I was thinking if we have this here by the door somewhere, do you reckon, can we still use that if it's underneath? Because I mean, that'd be ideal if that's still usable. And then we do something like this with a mirror, a little plant thing there. Because yeah, that, that's quite nice. I like that. Does that work though? Open. Well, hang on. I guess I have to do like put away. Put away pet toy. Does, if I can put it away, that's good. I cannot. That's annoying. <laughs> we don't need this, but it's nice to have. I think we could probably get it. I guess it just has to be in the, it just has to be here. It just doesn't look as good being next to that. I guess it still works though. Like it actually takes a bit more space in the hall, which is probably a good thing. All right, that, that should be fine. Yeah. Oh, because they go to the side of it. That's weird. So I guess if I rotated it, maybe it would work, but it would, yeah, that's fine. I, that, that's good. Okay. And then I guess I should probably put a bin somewhere in the house. Probably a good idea. I mean, there's not really any way for it to go besides there. So <laughs> it's just going to sit there. All right, we got the dog bowl out the back. That's fine. Let's go make it a little bit lighter. Uh, we should probably do a little bit of something on the outside because it's just a house with nothing around it. That one has a fence. Maybe we do like a little fence setup. I think I'll use this fence. The Strangerville fence probably makes more sense. And then we'll put a little post box here. Oh, look at that. Get one of these. Now, unfortunately, this house does not touch the road. Also, this look at this angle. It's further away than here. This lot plate. Oh gosh, look at this fence as well. I just noticed how wonky that fence is. All right, so I guess it, at least that one has a path that sort of goes up to it. This one just has nothing. So like, <laughs> I don't know, I guess we can, uh, we can do a path up to the fence line maybe and then just leave it. I'm gonna do that, don't worry. I'm gonna make it a little less um, intense. I'm gonna just like fade it out there, I guess. I don't know, I'll just do that. That's good, nice little path. Okay, that's cute. Um, then I still have another 11,000. Oh, wait, what, let's have a look at my checklist because what have we actually done? No more than 92 tiles. We've got that taken care of. Sale, Alex Rangerville, yep. An elder, a young adult, and a dog, yes. We're still in budget. Uh, so, I, I mean, I could tick that for now. So we've done everything. Might as well get uh, a tree. A tree is always good. Ah, nice tree. Um, all right, we could do pet stuff. We could do like the dog stuff. Like these, like get a, a tube. Some pet training back here. Be a bit of fun. On hoops. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't really do too much back here. <laughs> Alright, do a couple of those. There you go. This is a little bit of money. A bit random, but you know, it, it do each their own. Maybe a, another tree just to cover it up a bit. Yeah, hides it. Maybe we could do like a little, like a small pool. Or, I, oh dang, I don't want to move the house now because I just painted it. If I move the house over a bit more, I have a bit more space. But we could just do like a little, um, what do we do? Like, we could do like a lap pool. Is that just, is that just sad? That's kind of sad though. <laughs> What about a hot tub? This garden just feels so weird though, because it just goes down to grass and then I have a couple of dog things. Yeah, let's do a little bit of dirt around it. There we are. Like I would do like play equipment and stuff, but it's an elder and a young adult. So there's no kids or anything here, you know? Um, Hmm. Says so you could do a rocking chair out the front. That might be nice. Green, yeah. There you go. Matches in nicely. Hey, my door. Cool. You know what? I'm gonna do a pool. I don't care what anyone says. It's gonna be here. It's actually not too bad. Um. <laughs> And it uses a fair bit of money. Actually, if I move this, and because it, it doesn't count as tiles, because we're like on the ground floor, just using floor tiles. If I do that, I can maybe make it have room for a hot tub at the end as well, use a bit more money. I'm just using this larger fence, because, you know, I think it's nice to have a bit of privacy, you know? Now, I would like to do a fence at the front, you know, for safety, so you can lock the gate for kids so they don't run in there. Although it is a sim, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> oh, can I get a whole onsen back here? No, I can't. I <laughs> should kind of want a little bit more room if I can uh, spare it. So we can fit hedges. I feel like these would need like so much water. So you'd have to be like watering it a whole bunch. And I really like the fact that the idea of whoever lives here is wasting a bunch of money trying to water those hedges. There you go. Look at that. That's beautiful. <laughs> I don't know if I call that beautiful, but you know, it gets the job done. 
Then it uses a bunch of money. A little diving board there maybe. And then I might just get one of these. Um, I guess just next to it. That's fine. All right, still got $5,000. So <laughs> still got a bunch of money. Should we do this thing? <laughs> it's so big. I mean, I don't have to spend all the money. You know, I, I think I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> I think I'm going to call that a day. That's pretty good. So we did everything on the checklist with 5,000 to spare. I mean, I feel like that budget was very generous for this uh, home. So we had no issues at all. And I think it came together really well. I guess I just want to quickly test that I can get past this here. Yeah, that's fine. So I think this will work fine, no problem. Oh, no, okay, good thing I tested. I can't get past the dog bed, surprisingly, to get to that side. Uh, can I have it there and get past it? I just, the only bad thing is that it's like sort of visually intersecting with the curtain. No, I still can't even get past it there, okay. Wow, yeah, okay, so dog beds are kind of annoying. Um, what if it was like at the end of the bed? This uses a little bit of move objects, put it like there. Cause then there's still kind of room around it maybe. Yeah, okay, that works. Okay, I'm glad I tested that. And then I'm pretty sure this room will all work, but I guess I'll just go quickly test that. Yep, we can fit in. And then all oh, this is fine. I don't have any issues with that. I don't think that'll be a problem. So there you go. My tiny home that looks exactly like anything else in, <laughs> in Strangerville, but it's a tiny home. Thank you so much to my top level members for supporting the channel. And thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, I totally didn't expect this tiny home to turn out like this, but that's what I really like about doing the random challenge generators. So if you do this, feel free to share it with the hashtag that's included on the page as well on the gallery so other people can check out what other people have created there's a lot of like really different combinations you can get i mean this could have gone very differently if i had less budget or if i had to fit four sims in here for example uh i think i got lucky with the budget and the number of sims for sure and, and the space really uh, if we had two sims with i think the minimum i set is 16 tiles Ooh, that'd be rough <laughs> so i think we got pretty lucky but thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you next time and have an awesome day